basically it. And we have the meld commands. You can add, you can also add crystals if you would like, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I think you can get Aurora if you get Quick Blitz and Arrow together. Maybe I could do that right now, because I don't really need Quick Blitz. Well, uh, I kind of want to wait until I have a crystal so I can get something. Okay, finish commands over here. Basically, in your bottom left thing, there's also like a, ga a gauge right, by, right below the commands, where, com where it says commands. There's that little space. Once you fill that gauge up, you can do a certain finisher that you have assigned. And later on, if you use certain commands and then fill the gauge up, you can actually go into different modes. But I'll explain that later as well. Alright, moving on. Why does it seem so... familiar? Break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But, did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, whoa. Here. I get one, too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charm shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oi, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well... That's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Okay. 
if anybody really noticed, or if anybody thought that the Aqua's voice actor kind of, I don't know, sucked, don't worry, you're not alone. I'm going to be making fun of that all the friggin' time, so don't worry. We get this little good luck charm, and basically, besides the unbreakable connection she's talking about, it gives you a dimension link with Aqua and Terra, or your other two friends, basically. So yeah. And there it is, explaining what I just said. Well, tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Alright, so we get some combat skills. Yeah, basically if your HP reaches zero, you're defeated. Same as always. Yeah. Square is for... If you're running and you press square, you do some kind of dodge or roll that usually avoids attacks on the go. And lets you keep moving. If you're standing still and you press square, you... You, you usually use guard if you're Terra or Vin, and if you're Aqua, you use a, a reflect thing, which is a lot more useful. So yeah, there it is, just blocking his attack. That doesn't really make sense. The biggest rule in combat, even like in kung fu, is to not get hit. I don't, I don't know. Really, just promoting stupid stuff. Basically, now what we're doing is. Filling up the gauge so we can use a finisher. So once it's filled up, you can use your finisher and it does that special little attack. Yeah, and there it is explaining what I said earlier. If you use certain attacks and you fill up your drive drive gut drive gauge, I'm sorry, it'll It'll send you in into a different mode, and your attack will be different. You'll do all these cool flips and stuff. It'll generally do more damage. And you can even go into different modes while in different modes. Like, different levels of modes, basically. But that's a long ways away. Well, that works fine if you're fighting one-on-one. -on -one. But you need to know how to handle a crowd, too. Alright, so now we get to learn about Shoot Lock. Basically, to activate Shoot Lock, you press and hold L and R at the same time, and a big giant green circle will appear, and you use that to target enemies, and once... Well, yeah, you use it to target enemies, and then you press X to unleash your Shoot Lock, and it'll do damage depending on how long you've held the Shoot Lock, and if it's maxed out, then you can just press X, because it'll do the maximum damage. Like, here the max is 15. And if you run out of focus, or, yeah, if you run out of... It depends on your focus bar, basically, how long you can shoot lock. And once it's at 15, you do the, the highest amount of damage. Okay, let's wrap this up. Okay, so now you can basically just spar with anybody that you want. I'm going to uh, personally spar with Ven, because that's who I'm going to start with. Well, not person. I'm not going to start with him, but... I just want to spar with him, basically. If you've played any of the past Kingdom Hearts games, Vin is going to be the closest to Sora, so if you want to, you know, use him because he's the closest to Sora, then go ahead. I'll explain which character does what later on. Hmm. <laughs> Told you I'm good. Okay, now you can just say if you want to spar again with a different character. I'm not going to just because I know the combat. Trust me. You guys are ready. We're going to clean up with the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. 
It's like the Master said. Power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. Biggest fuck up of a line ever. I'm just gonna put that out there. That's that's just one of the lines that I love to make fun of. That is terrible. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are, but that is terrible. Okay, now we get to learn about save points. We don't want to lose track of stuff that's happened. I know, right? All right. So basically, with save points, you know, it's the same as any other Kingdom Hearts game. Run up to it. It restores your HP. Hit X to save. I'm not gonna save now, so I'm just gonna exit. Hey, uh, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? Okay, so now we get to choose which character we want for the rest of the game. It doesn't matter to me, basically, because... Well, mostly because I'm going to be doing a, a certain style of editing. That doesn't really... It doesn't really matter which character I choose. But for now, I'm just going to choose Vin first. Okay, hey guys, I'm back, and yes, we are back at the Choose Character screen. So you know that something's up. Basically, the way that I've seen Birth by Sleep playthroughs or Let's Plays or whatever, the way I've seen them go is, you know, someone picks a character, they go through that entire story first, and then they pick another character. What I want to do is I want to kind of go in chronological order, or as close to chronological order as I can, I guess. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through every world in chronological order with each of the characters. I'm gonna go through every world one by one all the way up until the end. And and let's see, for post game stuff, I th I think I'll just go in random order. But for the story right now, I feel like that chronological order. I think it's a it's kind of a refreshing thing to see a bunch of different characters, how their decks play out, and their strengths and weaknesses and all that. 